everything, even once our careers get off the ground, right? And we're moving, we're, we're, we're starting to become known in our industry. People are talking about us, we're making money. Life, it doesn't always go as planned. A lot of time, especially in our industry, there's setbacks. You know, you work your way to a certain level, and then all of a sudden life happens. And there are these setbacks that kind of put us in a position of, damn, what do I do now? You know, my money stream has slowed up. I, this is all that I know. I don't know what my next steps are. What are the setbacks that you've um, encountered in your life and how have you overcome it? And, and, and I'm asking this because that sounds like a very general question, but I want to be a little bit more specific, right? We'll go to the, you, you mentioned earlier in the interview, you said, look, I don't drink. But I know, and this is public knowledge because you mentioned it before, so I want to just put it out there, but your dad was an alcoholic. That's mm -hmm. something that you had to overcome early. But also in our careers, you know, right now we, we, we're dealing with COVID. Everything shut down. Life's unpredictable. Well, I have an easy answer for it. Go ahead. If you plan for failure, then you know how to deal with it when it happens. Elaborate. Right? Most people don't plan. So, I've, oh, okay, there's a, lot to, there's a lot to answer this. So, you know, people look at, like you just say, my dad was an alcoholic. And people look at that as, um, you know, you took an L because your dad was an alcoholic and he left you. But it's like those L's aren't losses, they're lessons it learned. You know what I'm saying? So why did I not become an alcoholic? Because I seen how fucking whack it was. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, why do I want to look like that? That's whack as shit. So like, why do I, I'm not going to beat up my girl. I'm not going to leave my kids. I'm not going to look like a slob. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, that's why I'm, I'm lost and flabbergasted when people see the negative results of things other people do and then they do it it's like how many like times does a cigarette company have to tell you yeah the odds are we're gonna fuck up your body and people are like well oh, that's cool i'll still smoke like what the what the fuck like yo you can catch aids if you bang people raw dog and don't wear a condom that you don't know eh, it's worth it what like, what are you talking, if I tell you you walk in that burning house and you're going to burn to death and die, why would you walk in that burning house? Do you know, it just doesn't make sense to me. It's just pure logic. You know what I mean? So, you know, I would look at the world, even when I was young, for instance, I was like, how do, I didn't have a, a male role model, right? The only man in my life was sexually abusing me, right? So, like, I, I didn't know, like, how you're supposed to talk to a girl or how you're supposed to handle a bully or anything, definitely nothing about life or business or money, you know what I mean, or the future. Like, no one was teaching me that stuff. So um, I just, I watched the world. I was very analytical since I was a kid because even when I was being molested, I would lay in my bed and think to myself, why does this dude do this? Like, what's wrong? You know what I mean? So like I would assess everybody and everything around me. So like that old lady over there, why is she lonely? What's going on with her family? And like, I wonder why she's alone. Like, why does she, why is she so angry at everybody in the neighborhood? What's wrong in her life? Right. Uh, or this kid at school, why is he being bullied? Like, why do they treat him like that? Why doesn't he stand up for himself? What's happening at his house that makes him think it's okay to be bullied? Like, so like I would always analyze and assess people and the things around me. Like, even when I was young, because I didn't have a man to, like, really kind of guide me on what I was supposed to do or who I was supposed to be. I was pretty lost as a kid. I didn't, I, I, I didn't even know, like, right? So I was, like, I was always too black for the white kids and too white for the black kids. So I didn't really, like, fit in anywhere. I was like, who am I, right? And so I would watch, like, I was a big fan of Sylvester Stallone. I used to, in my mind, treat him like he was my dad. Right. So like Sylvester Stallone, um, Bruce Willis and Arnold Schwarzenegger, they always play roles where they were like family men that did the right thing, had good morals and made sure everyone was being honest. So that's what I thought a man was supposed to be. So that's kind of what I model myself as in my own way. Uh, but like I've always been somebody that would look at the best 
most people want to emulate the best and then be like them, right? I want to be like Mike, right? Um, I would watch the best in class to see what they're doing and see what they're messing up on or what they're not doing. And that's what I would hone in on. And I would become great at that thing that they're not doing right. So I never looked at like problems or obstacles or issues as setbacks, but more in hindsight, set forths because they help me advance because now I'm stronger. So like, if you look at like problems that happen in your life, look at it like a slingshot. It's pulling you back, but then everything you learn from that, you're now full of so much more knowledge that when it, it flings you, you can run so much more faster because you've got way more knowledge and experience than everybody else that's kind of slugging their way through. Did, did you just think about that analogy or did you hear that before? I just made this. Oh, I love that, Clinton. I love that. I'm going to frame that right there. Whoo, that, that's such a great analogy. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.